When will Crowcoin break out? I know it's a question that a lot of you guys are wondering probably every single day if you're holding the CRO token. Crypto.com gets so much FUD that I believe is unwarranted. Full disclosure, I own a lot of Crow coins myself. We're not sponsored by them in any way, but we've been talking about Crypto.com's Kronos coin for a very long time. And I know people are wondering, when are we going to break out? And I have a strong idea as to when that might be coming. Now, whether that is to the upside or the downside, well, that is for the broader market to determine. But I think that I know the date that we are going to, maybe one or two dates, that Crow is actually going to start moving, whether that's up or down. Let's explore that together in this video, guys. If you like the content, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel, guys. This is the Crypto Report. I'm Crypto Kip. And let's start with this. I'm going to start with the charts today. Uh, I'm not going to go through Coin Market Cap here. Let's just look at Bitcoin to start. Because if you want to know when Crow Coin is going to break out, you got to look at BTC, folks. So let's get specific. So right now, if you do look at Crow, or excuse me, if you look at Bitcoin, we are in a very interesting holding pattern. This morning on my live stream, I cannot even make this up and smash the like button. Leave a comment down below. If you saw my live stream this morning, you saw me mention this. I drew this wedge this morning and we were literally touching the bottom of this band and we didn't even begin the retracement back up when I drew it. And I said, this could be a great bottom. I said, hey, maybe there's some long traders that are going to open up along here. Maybe a great opportunity to make money. And it wasn't financial advice because I never do financial advice. But we have this wedge. And so where does this wedge point to? Well, it points to a breakout zone at the peak of here, somewhere within this. And so it could be really anywhere within this area is typically where you'd kind of want to expect to predict a breakout. It's never really exactly at the point, but it is somewhere within there. And so at the bottom of my screen here, what I'm looking at are some dates. Right here where my cursor is, this is the 14th, and now the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, and the 20th of April here, and now the 21st of April. Now the Bitcoin having, okay, the supply shock event for crypto, Bitcoin, which is the catalyst for the crypto bull market. This is what everybody talks about in these four-year cycles. This happens within this red circle, guys. This happens right about on the 19th of April, which is this month. And so what I'm telling you guys is in just about nine days or so, we are going to have a breakout for Bitcoin. And when I say breakout, that could be to the upside, that could be to the downside. Now, if we break out to the upside, how do you predict that? Well, if this wedge plays out, and we look at historical wedges, what do you get? You t measure the opening of the wedge, and from the breakout point, you're looking at probably a $56,000 Bitcoin to the downside, which would be, from current price levels, a 19% crash. From the peak of the bull market, this would be that 23% crash. We've been talking about a potential 30 to 50% crash right around the Bitcoin having. Could this be to the downside? Well, what happens if we break out to the upside? Well, then we could blast through the $72,000 level that we've been talking about so much. And we could see Bitcoin rage up all the way to $88,000 or $89,000 just like that. And so what I'm telling you guys is in, and that's what the, the thumbnail and the title is going to be, nine days until a crow coin breakout. It could be eight, nine, maybe 10 days until Crowcoin breaks out. Why am I saying that? Because we're looking at Bitcoin. Because if Bitcoin moves, all coins move. That's how it goes, guys. And coincidentally, not so coincidentally, if you look at the price action for CRO versus the dollar, you will see that this wedge plays out very similarly. In fact, you're looking for a breakout around the same time, a little bit earlier. But this makes me think Bitcoin's probably going to want to move around the 18th or 19th. And I think that's when Crowcoin's going to want to move as well. So in like nine days about, Within eight, nine, maybe 10 days, I think we're going to have a massive crow coin breakout. Now, is it to the upside or the downside? It's a great question. If it is to the downside, we might get another bounce off 12 cents, and then, then we can bounce back up. We could break back down lower. We could come back down to nine cents. I wouldn't want to see that. That wouldn't be great for the morale for the crow coin holders. You wouldn't want to see that. Instead, I've been predicting an altcoin rally. I think we already had our sell-off for Bitcoin. That's not financial advice. I could be wrong. But there's so many bullish catalysts for Bitcoin. There's so many people that are shorting this thing. Typically, when you see so many shorts on one end, I think that those guys want to get wrecked, just like you see too many longs building up. T typically, there's liquidation hunters, guys. And so I think we might get a short squeeze for Bitcoin, which would then be a catalyst for Crowcoin to break out as well. And if Crowcoin broke out of this wedge, again, you'd like to measure the mouth of the wedge to the upside. We could see Crowcoin go all the way up 
to this previous target that we've had drawn out at about 20 cents, 19, 20 cents, which would be an absolutely beautiful gain to the upside if we broke upward of, you know, a beautiful 40% gain for Crow. This could be happening in the next nine days, guys. That's what I'm going to make the thumbnail now that I'm looking at it out loud here, putting together this idea for you guys, because I really am bullish on crypto.com. This week, guys, we saw them get a first ever global crypto operator securing full operational approval in Dubai's virtual assets regulatory authority. This was huge. Recently, we also saw them uh, with the Singapore deal and so many other deals entering South Korean market. There are so many reasons to be bullish on this thing. Not to mention, obviously, Ka and some of the Kronos ecosystem uh, tokens, even if they're memes, guys, have been very successful. Ka is now listed on the Coinbase wallet. This, The developers in this community are doing a lot more. And whether you like it or not, just acknowledge that there's activity going on in the Kronos ecosystem. This thing's actually rebounding beautifully today, which is fantastic. So shout out to all the Ka holders today that had diamond hands and didn't panic sell. But beware, guys, for Ka. Just a quick update for you guys because I know a lot of people... I know a lot of people out there hold some call, want an update on it. I kind of see this wedge here. This one breaks out a little bit sooner than those other prices. So we could have a major breakout uh, potentially for call in the next uh, maybe even four days. So very, very soon. If this breaks out above this wedge, then I get bullish and we can see a move back up to all-time highs. Potentially, potentially, potentially. But please know, meme coins, extremely risky, high risk. The bigger deal is, guys, Crow. You're looking for a breakout on Crow? Well, check out Bitcoin. Look at the wedge on Bitcoin. In approximately nine days, I expect us to get a decisive move right around the Bitcoin halving. Coincidentally, right in time for the Nakamoto upgrade to bring DeFi to Stacks, uh, which is the Bitcoin Layer 2 solution, which I'm very bullish on. That could be a bullish catalyst for the broader market as well. I think that Crow Coin could be due for a breakout at that point. Now, if Bitcoin breaks down, then we'd be due for some downside. We'll continue to track the market accordingly, guys, because you never know what happens next, guys. Crypto is risky, but if you DCA and you hodl over time and you buy low and you sell high, you can make a serious amount of money in crypto. Crypto is not for everybody, but if you're here, you're probably in these crypto markets. You're probably making some good money so far, especially if you've been following us through the 3,200 videos that we've done for you guys on this channel all through the bear market. We've been bullish on crypto. We've been right so far. Please, guys, none of this is financial advice, but I want to give you guys an update. Nine more days. Can we see a Crow Coin breakout? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's all I got on this one, guys. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto content. And as always, guys, you got to remember to DCA, HODL, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace, y'all.